Hello everyone, welcome to another quick unboxing slash review video. This is for the uh, Western Digital Blue solid state drive. This is the one that uses a uh, 3D NAND, which is pretty cool. If you don't know what 3D NAND is, I'll just give you a brief overview. We basically went from 2D NAND to 3D NAND um, in this particular setup. Most, most older SSDs are still 2D NAND. You can kind of look it up if you want. Essentially, the idea was that you could stack the units together and um, that decreases interference between the modules. Sometimes it helps with energy consumption depending on your performance um, needs. And, and also it uh, allows for more stuff to go on one chip. Not necessarily necessary, if you will, for like a 250 gigabyte like this, but still um, an interesting technology. So I picked up a couple of these for some stuff I'm working on. And uh, these are going to be cache drives for a, um, an Unraid build. So. Anyway, so you don't get much in the box. It's obviously just a 250 gigabyte SSD. So you get a little user manual warranty, kind of useless. This is waste of paper, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, these are, these are really cheap. They're really effective. And uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, performance numbers because that's what, that's what we all really want. So for the price, I would say not bad. If we're looking at like a crystal disk mark score, um, your sequential reads and writes are really good. 560 read, 522 write, and that kind of stays pretty consistent across the board, which is great. Um, and you can also back that up with the ATTO benchmark score, which also push, uh, puts us somewhere in that low 500, high 400s range, which I think is pretty good. Um, let's keep in mind that these particular SSDs are less than 100 bucks at, the, at this point. So they are, they are cheap, and um, if you look hard enough, you can probably find this particular model for like fifty nine dollars. I think fifty nine dollars on Amazon was uh, was what I saw recently. So fantastic, fantastic. I will uh, link them in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I it was a really really short video. I basically torture tested these farming uh, farming chia for a while just for to to see how they would hold up. And they didn't miss a beat for a few days, so I went ahead and stuck them in my Unraid build. And they're working well there. So I'd say that these are a buy. This is a super short video, but uh, it gets you all the information you need, and that's really all you care about, right? Okay, so uh, have a good one. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. All that stuff.